welcome back guys so in this video i'm going to show you how you can dual boot fido s which is a really great alternative to chrome os and how you can dual boot it with the windows 10 or 11 so let's start with the procedure so first of all we are going to visit this website very interactive and new style of website you can see all the features listed and it has a very cool animation as well and uh, on the in the mid center you can see the download logo you have three options so you can download it for the pc or for your pi if you have a raspberry pi you can download it for that and for the pc options you have options for intel newer processors so from intel say 10th generation 9th generation or i'm going to go for the mine is fifth sixth generation so i'm going to go for that so you can download it from this dropbox icon it's going to open the dropbox link and you can download it from here let's click on the download so the download has started you can see on the bottom or you can just directly download it from this link so it will start so this is the better way and you can see the both of the files are downloaded so you can see the extension is dot xyz dot xz so you have to like uh, unzip it so click on and if you have this 7 zip or winrar you know to unzip it to a folder and after that you will have this iso image so i'm just going to go ahead and copy it to the eventy bootable usb um, i'm going to make a i'm going to place a link for it in the description it's a great way to flash multiple isos so we do not need to create separate bootable drive for every linux or uh, like make bootable drive for a separate iso so do check out the links so just need to copy it here um, right now my space is full because it's only a 16 gb usb so i'm going to delete some iso files and then copy and paste this uh, fido s iso it's a big file so it's going to take some time so after the copying is finished you're going to search for partition so create and format hard disk partition we need to create a drive for our fido os i already have a 48 gb drive i had a, another linux distro in it so i have deleted that and i'm going to create a new volume so if you have a drive so make sure it's above 15 gb at least just create a new volume and you're going to use this as our uh, main like main storage for our fido os so after we have our storage ready we're going to boot into our bios so while restarting from my hp laptop i press escape i can see these menus and then f9 for the boot device options and i will see all the drives and the boot manager I'm going to use my pen drive name that i've connected you can see the vent toy and i have fido os on top so it's, i'm just going to press enter and the installation will begin it will take some time depends upon your processor and graphics i have a fairly old one you can see the fido s logo thanks to this guy for suggesting the fido s review so you have this uh, loading screen you have the setup so the normal setup procedure also make sure you connect to your wi-fi uh, mine is ethernet so it's wired i've already connected it this is not the final installation so you have to go through it twice so after you accept this it will ask you to create an account for fido s So you can do that if you want 
you have to put it in your phone number or email and uh, like it will send you a code through telegram so you need to have a telegram set up as well so it's a long process you can just try to browse as guest if you want to see all the like the highlights of the fido s you can try it for a bit it's very similar to chrome os is actually same like chrome os uh, but you cannot see any play store we need we will install it later in the settings you can see the chrome options and you can exit the guest mode from this option so we are back in the setup screen and we want to set up a local account so you can see at the bottom left an option to set up a local account so choose the username and a password and then press next and then you're all set this is the chromium based browser as the most of the apps are web apps like the chrome os this is very nice looking wallpaper and you have your google assistant and uh, right now google assistant is not activated because we do not have play store so first we will like this is the android subsystem so how it is able to run android applications so we will install this fido as in our partition so in the app drawer you can see the store so this is a fido s store app and i've connected my laptop to the external monitor so when you open up this store you can see the first app that is installer so we're going to install this application and we will click on the add to fido s and we will just click on the add application and it will start the download process you can see on the bottom right if you click on the notifications you can see the download progress so it is downloading the fido s uh, this installer and using this we will install the fido s in dual boot it's a small application so it should not take a lot of time So it is been installed. So clicking on the application will give you this screen. You have the full disk installation. If you want to use it as primary, we're going to choose the dual boot and leave everything as default in the partition. Choose the partition that you have created specially. So 15 GB and above and in this one choose any of the black uh, the black highlight highlighted space so I'm going to go for the 500 megabytes if you do not have you can create one but uh, I already am being shown so I'm going to choose that and then just click on install This process is going to take some time. I've noticed the Fido S logo and everything has changed. Before the um, the logo was very different. Now it has become more refined and minimal. This is the new Fido S, and you will give this screen. So it might not boot into the Fido S. You need to then manually use this boot manager. You will get this refined boot manager if you go to BIOS. And then using the arrow keys, you have to choose the Fido OS. This is all the previous Linux installations that I had on my disk. So using the left and right arrow key, you can browse and I'll show you. And you can see the Fido OS logo will come. Here it is. So just select that. There is a dot just uh, uh, under the OS you have selected then press enter and you will be booted into the OS you have chosen this is the Fido S logo 
and now you have to do the final installation so select your language and everything once again connect your internet I have a wired ethernet some terms and conditions again it will ask you to create an account we're going to go for the local account create local account we don't want to go to all the like a uh, lengthy process of creating an account Local account works best for even for Windows and we're going to just create this your username and a simple password this is still in beta so I have like I've been using it so while logging in it gives uh, some error so it does not recognize the password in one go but it works so again we are into and this time we have actually installed it the 5 OS and this is how it looks the app drawer we still do not have Google Play Store so we're going to now use that so just click on this and launch it so it's on the background I will go to store once again it's a good thing that they have provided their own store with Chrome apps and under the made by Fido OS you will see something called open G apps people who are familiar with custom rounds know how open G apps works it helps us to use Google apps on uh, a, like a ROM where there is no support for Google Play Store so we're going to just add this app like we did with the installer and this will help us to install Google Play Store on our Fido OS so it has been installed I'm going to click on it then we will like we're going to agree to some conditions So we will select the install option the first one is some for if you have some error and then click on install and it's going to take some time and it will install the opengi apps on the fido os Now it ask us to ask us to reboot our system and again you have to manually using the refine boot manager so this is it now using the play store and I'm actually recording this screen and if you're not seeing any play store just click on this Google services and then you should be able to see the play store application then just normally sign in with your Google account this is not a chrome os so i don't think using a primary account is uh, going to create any issues but just to be safe try to use a backup account and i'm going to try to play a game because in chrome os i wasn't able to play any game so service server is a light game so i'm going to try to play that and this if you have used chrome os in the past this works similar to that you have your chrome based web apps and all the play store applications are available for you to use and i can see that service server is actually running so you can if you have a good like graphics card you can play games as well so this is quite cool um, but sadly there is no like you, you cannot play using your keyboard shortcuts as it still does not have any functionality to play games using a keyboard it just is emulating the Android environment 
and it's quite lagging because I'm screen recording also um, I don't know in Prime OS it's much smoother the experience to like play games if you actually want an Android OS especially for gaming I suggest you check out my Prime OS installation video it has some really good performance and uh, I have tried Free Fire and PUBG and it works pretty fine and you um, like you also have options to use your keyboard so you can use that so server software is working next I'm going to try to play uh, free fire because it's a small game and I'm just going to just try to run it to see if it works or not and now I'm going to try to play free fire so I've downloaded the game we have the logo and in chrome os it was crashing for me but in this one i'm getting the prompt to allow some permissions so i'm guessing it will work and yes it is working i'm in the training mode right now and unfortunately the keyboard does not work maybe there is a way around it but right now using the mouse you can move here and there this is really not for gaming but i'm just trying to like see if it really works and it means you can play and use any android app like on this fight os so that is really good and reassuring so you can have and try multiple android apps and see for yourself what works and what does not so it's good that this game is working so if you are a, if you find any way to use keyboards i'm going to try something maybe but for now it's, it's looking good definitely not for playing but it's good to know so this is the app drawer and uh, the app store and everything the chrome OS, all the UI elements you have your screen recorder and screenshot and uh, the browser also works pretty good you can see the media controls the youtube videos and for normal browsing and office work it's a really good OS and i'm enjoying it so far so do give it a try and that was it for this video and i hope you like this one um, it's really easier to install than chrome os so don't forget to give this a try and yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.